His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen our God's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent. In our lives every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good.
the all glorious above. We sing joyfully to you, our maker, and praise you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you in your majesty, your power. Please walk the walks of God. In us, around us. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to say to us that this meeting is very significant, very crucial. It happens very rarely what is happening now in this meeting. As uh, my wife and mommy prepared and I prepared. I found out interestingly that the text I chose is the same text she chose. It was quite interesting. <laughs> there are several scriptures but that we went to the same text must communicate to us something. And she has given her points. And what is interesting is that there are points she has given that I have, and there are points that I have that she doesn't. She didn't give us. And that's this will say God wants us to take. A full dose because of what is about to happen. The theme is what I will use as a topic, what I want to say to us, and I pray you will listen carefully and understand what God is saying to us, His people. Before we go over to the text again, I want to begin by word of introduction. I know as people, as human beings, there is virtually anybody that does not need help. There is virtually anybody that is not in need of help. And so we all cry and call for help. But one thing I want to draw your attention to at this very introduction is the fact that everyone that knows God, that believes in God, that calls upon God, must ensure without any doubt and without any controversy at all or any ambiguity to this reality that you seek your help from God and not from man. I know we will say amen but in practice we hardly do. It is important that whatsoever help we need we seek it from God. God can use anybody thereafter to meet that need. And when that happens, you acknowledge God as a doer. Give him thanks. 
and also give thanks to the fellow that he used. One thing again that you must know, if you will take this, is that if you don't make God your helper, if you don't seek help from God, your ultimate help from God, you are bound to consistently meet with disappointment, with pain, with agony. Every man is bound to fail. No matter how genuinely righteous, upright, loving, caring, every man is bound to fail. At one point in time or the other. I'm not talking about falling into sin. I'm talking about failing you in the area of the help you are seeking for. No matter how genuine they may be, and that's why we've got to seek this help from God. If you don't seek help from God and you decide to make man your help, in this day and era where we have all kinds of psychophants, You'll be terribly disappointed. And that's why any help you need, it is in the place of prayer that you have to first settle it with God before you can even turn to anybody for any help. And if they don't help you, you don't get offended. Why? Because they are not, in any case, they are your first uh, priority. God is your priority. So, if the man does not help, you don't have anything to worry about. Because you know whom you have reported to. Whom you have called upon to help you. Amen. This warning is very important. Jesus needed disciples. He took 12 of them. But at the beginning of the book of John, there's a statement in chapter 2, that you give every Christian a food for thought. John chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. I'm introducing the topic. John chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. And it is, But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Why did Jesus not commit himself to people? Because of the makeup. Of man. Later on, we also that even the best of the men he had, the best that was so vocal and meant every word and demonstrated it before Jesus by using panga to cut off. The ear of Marcus. To show Jesus. Can you see what I can do? At the end of the day. This same man did what? Denied him. So please. Let's put our focus. On God. And God only. And he will help us. In Jesus name. Alright. Let's go back. Text 1 Samuel chapter 7. Mine will be from verse 3 to 12. 
And then verse 14. That one was not added. Verse 13 was added in the one you've heard already. 13 is not in this one. 14 is in it. And so let's read. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and astrologs from among you.